Hey y'all, how's it going? <clears throat> Today we're going to uh, take a look at this Fusion 5 tablet. Seems I uh, cracked the screen. Now I was thinking about replacing it and I said let me see if I can get a screen for this, how much it's going to cost. So it looks like a replacement screen might only be about $15. And I'm going to take it apart to make sure I'm getting the right screen before I order it. So what I'm going to do is take it apart right now, and you're going to see how I do that. So first we're going to need a couple tools, like this prying tool, <coughs> and maybe one of these, looks like a guitar pick kind of tool, any one of these, to, so we can slip under. I don't see any screws on this thing, so we're going to pry her open like this. Gonna get the corner started. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how it broke, yeah. Let's get the corner started, get a fingernail in there. Let's get something in there. There we go. Now we gotta start it. Let's see if we can get one of these in there. So what we gotta do is get the corner going. Like that. There we go. There we go. Just be careful. Everything should pop like that. Once you get a couple sides off, the rest should come off easy. Don't snap it back. Just keep going. Just keep going around the edges. Fingernail. If you got a fingernail, use it. That works. Alright, now we're, we're open. Let's see what we got inside here. Looks like we can flip it this way. Oh, it's clear. Okay. Now here's our battery. It's a nice size battery, huh? 22.2 .2 watt hours. 3.7 volts. 7200 milliamp hours. Not a bad battery. But not, a, not a great one. I wonder if we could fit a bigger battery in here, huh? Looks like we can. But anyway, here's the uh, thing we need to be looking at is this ribbon cable right here. And it has a number on it. You can see that. Says number DH dash one zero six A one dash FPC two oh six. Hmm. So that's the uh, the number of the uh, screen we're gonna have to order. Now with the uh, when the the one guy that was offering the screen is offering a set of tools with it. He's got a uh, he's got one of these. It looks like he has a couple mini screwdrivers and uh, one of these picks. So and he's only charging like uh, two dollars extra. So I think it would be worth it to get those. I'm gonna get them even though I don't need them. Cause you never know. Right. Here I lost a piece here. Oh, that's my volume button and my on and off button. So be careful not to lose anything. Here's something interesting. Hmm, that's the camera. Uh, that's the speaker. That's a little speaker there. Anyway, so to replace this screen, looks like we're going to be removing a lot of little screws around the edges. Right? Probably gonna have to remove this board. So whatever you have to remove, be very careful. Okay. So I don't have the screen, so I'm not gonna remove all this stuff just yet. But I'm gonna order the screen and the uh, the toolkit that comes with it. So just in case I don't have something, and if I do have it, not a big deal. It's only an extra buck. Uh, let's get an extra look at this. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the uh, cable that he had on there. I mean, I like this uh, this tablet. I was thinking about replacing it, but you know what? This is 10.6 tablet. That's a big one. I don't know what all these little plastic things are, but I think we broke some clips on the way out. That's all right. It'll still work. So what I'm going to do is order the part, and then I'm going to do the rest of this video at a later date because it's going to take probably three weeks to get here. But in the meantime, I am going to put this video up so anybody that wants to take it apart or maybe they got theirs already, they can see how to take this thing apart. It's not hard. Like I said, just be careful. Don't break any of these. Don't break any of these cables. Be, they're very delicate. They're actually uh, really good, but you have to be just be careful with them. That's all. This is the little camera. Look at that camera cable. All those little mini wires in there. Right here. It's a mini camera cable right here. So I'm sure we're going to be removing this board. I mean, it should be interesting. Should be very interesting because it looks like the whole screen. Hmm. Should be interesting. I think we'll be replacing all this stuff onto the new screen. That's what I'm thinking now. So that should be very interesting. Anyway, Fusion 5, this is part one. Part two is going to be when I get the, the thing back. I mean, the the new screen in. In the meantime, let's put this back together. I don't want to lose parts. The, uh, yeah, this should go right around here somewhere. Let's see, I can put it in here. I stuck it back in here. If I could get it back together without it falling out. I think we're gonna have to get that that corner in. Get a finagle that in there with the buttons. Squash that in there. Mm. This is gonna be interesting getting this back together with these two. This is one button side. It's gonna be difficult. So I think we gotta get it on this side first, like this. Push it on. Yep. Nope, I didn't get it. We did manage to snap this side down though. I should have done that. Alright, so we gotta, gotta like get this volume button lined up with its... Gotta get that in there first. Like that. Yeah, I think I got it now. Yeah. Yeah, so sneak that button in there first. Now we can snap this back together. Let's go around until it gets all snapped back together. Make sure your buttons are working. Yep, it's working. You can see my crack along here. 
see if I feel this back where you can see it better. You can see it. it Made the, the screen completely unusable. Watch it work now. No, see, nothing works. I was trying to get the display to come on so I could set it to not shut off. But all, yeah, all I keep doing is making screenshots. So, that's it. We're back together. The buttons work. Let's see if the volume button works. Yep. Volume button works. So when you're putting that screen, this back cover back on, slip this part, slip this part in first, and then snap it together. All right, we'll be back for the second part in a few weeks, but I am going to post this now. Thank you.